everyone, so today I am back in my house because it is Easter weekend, which is really exciting because I have a four day weekend because of Patriots Day because I'm in Massachusetts, as well as I didn't have class Friday, so I'm, I'm here for a whole four days, which is awesome. I'm really excited to be back with my family and I'm just itching for summer right now, but uh, since I'm here I haven't gotten to film quite for a while at my school, so I figured I would get some filming done to be able to put up in the next little bit. Um, but yes, yeah, so today I am going to be doing a video that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, um, because I just, I read a book uh, recently that I was like, you know, I, I, I want to make a video because of like something that I thought when, after I finished reading it, but that is my autobi authors. These are authors that have impressed me enough for me to consider them autobi authors, which to me is an author who if they have a work that I do not own, or like if I still haven't gotten all of their works, I consistently look for um, when I go to bookstores or the thrift store, um, I look for online for cheap, and if they have a brand new book coming out, I pre-order or order it immediately when it comes out, um, and I usually read it immediately when I get it. So obviously these aren't just authors that I have a lot of books of because there are plenty of authors that I have quite a few novels by, but I don't consider them autobi authors. So these authors are like special, not necessarily favorites, but like close to or are. So yes, let's get on into this. Let's just get the big one out of the way because obviously Haruki Murakami is my number one autobi author. The second that this man comes out with a book, I buy it and I have slowly been collecting all of his previous works. I have Men Without Women, the short stories collection on pre-order currently. Um, so yes, this Haruki Murakami is 100% my biggest autobi author that if I see one of his books in store, even if I already have it, I'm very tempted to buy it. Um, I like, he, his books are some that I just want multiple copies of. Like, I love Love him so much, so uh, Hurricane Murakami definitely number one autobi author for me. And the other is of course Jenny Chang, who wrote my all-time favorite book, Three Souls, as well as Dragon Springs Road, which is an amazing novel. Um, she has just impressed me so much. Obviously, one of her books is my all-time favorite book, um, and this book just did not disappoint me at all. It was another five out of five stars. I don't get five out of five stars easily, but like Jenny Chang has just impressed me over and over again every single time I reread her books with her writing and her characters and how amazing she is at everything. My next auto by author is a manga artist just because I couldn't not include him just because I'd be lying if he wasn't an auto by and that is uh, Ma Masahashi oh my god Masa Masashi Kishimoto. I always just say Kishimoto. I, I've never seemed to pronounce his first name. But Kishimoto, who wrote the Naruto series, obviously I'm collecting all of these. I have almost all of them. And Baruto is coming out, and I have not ordered that just because I'm trying to wait until after I have reread the entire Naruto series to start Baruto. But obviously, you know that that book is going to be on my shelf very soon. Or not very soon. After I finish Naruto. Again. For like the eighth time. That's fine. <laughs> Kishimoto, definitely anytime I go to a store, thrift store, comic book store, I always look for Naruto. I have a list on my phone of volumes that I own so I can buy new ones, um, but yes, I, I always look for Naruto. <laughs> and now we are getting into more recent, maybe less obvious autobi authors. The first autobi author that might come as a slight surprise is Jung Yoon who wrote Shelter. I raved about this book all summer, basically. I haven't gotten to talk about it recently because I haven't had a reason to, but this was Jung Yoon's debut novel. Um, I don't know if she is currently writing anything else, but uh, the second she comes out with something else, I will be getting it and I will be reading it. Um, I adored Shelter, one of my all-time favorite books. Amazing. I cannot wait for her to come out with something and you know that that book will be read the second it is in my hands. Another author that might be a slight surprise is Han Kang, who wrote The Vegetarian as well as Human Acts, which is back there. Uh, I adore both of the books I have read by her. I'm not totally sure if she has anything else. I don't think she has, um, but I discovered this book probably at the same time everyone else did with The Vegetarian, and I seem to be one of the people who, like, loves her. I haven't really met anyone else who, like, adores her as much as I do. I think her books are so raw and so real, and I just, it's a breath of fresh air when I read her books because they're not sugarcoating anything, which I hate in books, and I just, I adore her writing set, I adore her stories, and you can know that the next time one of her books comes out and is translated into English, I will be picking it up, because she has impressed me 
a lot. And the last author is the one that has inspired this video to happen because I recently read one of his books and I literally just stopped and I was like, I need more by him and immediately like started trying to find if he had any more books coming out which he has like in it he has a story in an anthology but no book currently coming out but like I just the second he has another book coming out I will be getting it and I will read it immediately and that is Tim Florine who wrote uh, Willful Machines and Tattoo Atlas. Tattoo Atlas was the book that I was like wow I need more by him. Actually, honestly, Willful Machines, the second I finished this, I ordered this, so I guess he always is kind of going to be an autobi author, but he has impressed me so much because you guys know I don't like YA anymore. Like, I really, really don't. Like, I, like, still read some YA that interests me, but I'm never impressed by it anymore. It's very not often that they get above a three star anymore. Both of these have gotten five, four point five out of five stars and they are just incredible. He has such an amazing way of telling stories. He's just an amazing storyteller, amazing writer, and his stories are interesting and unique and complex and just wicked enjoyable. I read both of these books within like 24 hours of picking them up kind of thing. Um, so enjoyable and just so, so incredible. And I just, I need to get my hands on more of his work because I just, I love it so much. Like, I can't say that he's a favorite author yet. I just can't. Just like, honestly, I can't really say Jenny Chang is a favorite author yet because I have only read a couple of their works. Like, Haruki Murakami, favorite author because I've read 11 of his works. So, I can't call you a favorite author yet, Tim Florine, because I need at least one more book to just solidify that these two were not mistakes. But yes, Tim Florine. 100% an autobi author. I will be getting that anthology just because he's in it. Um, and yes, I can't say enough about this guy. Like, please, if you like YA or if you don't like YA, check out these books. Sci-fi, amazing, so good. I love it. But yeah, these are the authors that I consider autobi authors. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this kind of different video and definitely tell me down below what are you, what, who do you consider your autobi authors? Because, I don't know, I find that really interesting because it's not necessarily saying they're your favorite authors, but they're just, they're autobi authors, you know? Anyways, I love you all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!